Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of Dark Souls 2 Completionist for Dark Souls 2. Uh, this is the second recording session, which is quite exciting. So, when we uh, last ended, we were here in Majula, we just killed the, uh, the Dragon Slayer and the Pursuer as well. And some of you probably noticed that I hadn't used my Sublime Bone Dust, so we'll use that right now. Get that out the way. And after that, we're going to do today's first task, which, unfortunately, is to go over here and go here. And then we're going to do No Man's Wharf. Yay! Okay, so we're here at Hyde's Tower of Flame. This is where the, uh, the lady was. Alicia, I guess, is her name. Alright, we go down this part. Is everybody's favourite place. So, you're probably all pretty excited to see how we get on. I'm hoping not to die. Everyone's hoping. I'm not gonna die, that's what you're all hoping, right? Okay, let's go. It's not like I died here every time I've come around. Like, there's this, there's this weird sort of overconfidence thing. See? finish that off before we get in trouble. Okay. Alright, uh, I forgot to mention, I switched on my shield, so we were using the uh, the buckler, but now we're using the large leather shield. It gives us a little extra protection from pretty much everything apart from fire and more stability, which is the more important part. Okay, let's finish this. And grab our first item. Yeah, it's our first item of this episode. Wow. It's it's not. That's a lie. A filthy lie. Sorry. Never mind. Alright, we've got the Old Knight Halberd, which would be fine, but the durability is really low. I'm going to take a quick look. Probably should be doing this. Show all the weapons. So, Old Knight Halberd, 20 durability. Damage is fine. Uh... Uh, the stats on great infantry axe is quite nice. It's quite pretty. A pretty weapon. Okay, never mind. We're sticking with what we've got. Fortunately, there's not too much between where we are now and where we get to the next bonfire. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? See that stability? It's it's amazing. Oops. <laughs> okay. That was uh, close. Alright, we'll do this just for the sake of it. I don't I don't think there's an item down here. But I reckon it's good to to check. And these knights definitely fighting in the corridor makes them slightly more difficult, so it's the, it's the added challenge. The added challenge that the game is really missing. Oh, right, yeah, there is. Right. Yeah, you can go down here, but at the moment, there's nothing that we can or want to do down there. So, we'll leave it. Uh, maybe come back at some point, but I don't know, because we're playing offline, and I think that's like an online-y kind of, an online-y kind of place. Right, sorry, I missed my, missed my turning. Or did I? I actually did mean to go down there. <coughs> uh, let's cut that bit out. Get, get that. <laughs> Edit that out. So you want to come down here, and uh, it's super important that you take this lift. Don't listen to what anybody else says about it not being important. Now, I want to remind everyone that we have picked up a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Oh, uh, rather, is it, what is it, is it a Pharaoh's Key? Pharaoh's Stone? It is a Pharaoh's Lockstone, I was right the first time. We have picked up a Pharaoh's Lockstone, which we are going to use in this area, because while you can go through with a torch, or you can go through with no light whatsoever, if you want to make life easier for yourself, 
you probably do want to use the lockstone. It might seem like a waste, but there's going to come a point in the game when you've got plenty of them. So you're never really going to miss out. And using one now is, uh, oh my goodness, it's amazing. It is something that you 100% want to do. Okay, we're going to pop up here. Just have a look around. Uh, hey, chest here. Alright, we get the knight armor. Let's take a quick look while we're running. That's safe. Okay, there we go. Knight armor, knight helmet. It's all the same. It's all metal, like a knight would wear. Okay, and there's this door. The, it won't open. So, forget it. Ah, that would have been amazing. Maybe next time. Let's keep going. I'm just trying to psych myself up. Get ready for No Man's Wharf. Get ready for Lysia's. No, that's Lysia. I've forgotten who the uh, who the other woman is then. She probably doesn't have a name. That's right. Just <laughs> the the woman who tries to cheat everyone of the money. She she doesn't have a name. Okay, light the bonfire. Lovely. Everyone's lit. And speak to her. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. But you... I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While well, you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. <laughs> You are an odd. Well, I can see that you are mid. I can't. Don't help. Okay, that's all she's got to say. Let's rest the bonfire. We'll uh, get the durability back on our sword, and we'll get that one ex this flask that we used back. So, Lucatiel is going to be available to summon for the boss fight, which we will do because she has a good old storyline. Now we can get her armor eventually. Good grief! That took a lot. Okay, now you can go two ways here, this way, or this way. We're going to go this way, so I can uh, take care of the archer down here. There's going to be another guy who we've got to kill first. Uh, no big deal. And then roll out the way of the arrow, so predictable. Alright. So you can see, there's a couple of guys over here. Two that we can see, obviously, there's one up there. We can ignore him for now. Let's get the bow up. What the? Right, that was a torch. I thought that was a guy. Eyesight's not what it used to be. Okay, we'll shoot this one. We want to get his attention. It's going to sort of summon the other ones. But it's not too, not too important. He's, uh, he's actually stuck. Yeah, stuck in a fucking cart. Right. Oh, there we go. Freed himself.
Varangian leggings? That's just the leggings that guy's wear. That guy... guy wears. Ah, uh, okay, so he's just... I, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, nothing in here. Shit. Didn't think that, was, that thing was going to come for me. Alright, let's just pick this up. Dark Pine Resin there. Right, he's come back. It's okay. We can technically just ignore that thing and it will go away. There are some items in its room, but they're only arrows. So we don't need them. If you don't want to fight the thing, then don't bother. Now this kind of area is where having a strong weapon is going to come in handy. Because there are some fairly tough enemies here, and the quicker you can take them out, the easier your life is going to be. I mean, that's always the case, but this is where it really... start sh <coughs> This is where it really starts to shine. Okay, so kill him, get the Soul of a Proud Knight, make sure you pick up the uh, Titanite shot that was in the chest, and then come back down. Smash these barrels. I think we might have just covered ourselves in the filth. Okay, that's 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 fine. If you get covered in the stuff that those guys throw, you just come into the water and rinse yourself off. And seriously, that works. That is that is how it's done. Because otherwise, if someone throws something uh, explosive at you or a fire arrow, your face is going to be set alight. Okay, that guy's um. He's gonna wait over there. So we'll take advantage of that. Grab the arrows. <laughs> and walk away. Alright, no harm done. It might be troublesome a uh, little later. We're gonna have to roll down. Fuck it, let's just kill him. They do take a bit of a beating, so the thing to do is just go in, get an attack or two off, and then get away. And there you have it, it's done. That's how easy they are to kill. Of course, if you're fighting more than one at a time, then the story is a bit different. It's different story time. Anything around here? No. Okay, we'll go up this way first. Let's be super aggressive with that guy. The, the two-handed ones, um, as long as you attack first, they tend to be too stunned by your bravery to to do anything about it. Okay, and then we're actually going to come back down. Deal with this slowly. And fight this guy, I think. If he'll come down after us, which he won't. We are now, of course, exceedingly popular. Everyone's just going to run back up the stairs, though. Okay, let's we'll just call it a draw then, shall we? Where's he going now? Wait. I don't know what everyone's doing. I don't really want to leave these guys at my back while I take care of the business. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, so that's one down. We know there's two more up there because we saw them give some sort of faux chase. Let's go up, take him from behind. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, fortunately he missed, so we're in the clear. Not taking too much damage today either. Right. Let's get the bow out, try and drag the uh, amazing dog. Rolling a bucket round. Uh, yeah, I think we will go for the dog rather than the man. We take the dog out easy and then we just have to deal with the dude. Alright, he's gonna... He's gonna back. Okay, 
it's gonna come gonna come back for us again. That's good. That's bad. Oh bloody hell! That was more troublesome than I thought. Take two. Oh, he still hit me as well. Unbelievable. These people. All right, we can take a quick look around. Do be careful, these archers seem to have uh, maybe the greatest aim in the world. All right, so you see, you just go in there, you attack everyone as quickly as you can, and usually, as long as you're killing them in two or three hits, they're not going to have time to react to you. So they're all dead before they even know it. Alright, and in exchange we get the band attacks and the brigand armor. Uh, now I just had a quick thought. I want to see what rings I got on. Life ring. Which raises. Uh, uh, no, we'll. S in fact, yeah, let's swap out the life ring for the ring of blades. You don't get a huge amount of extra health from the, uh, the ring of life. So I think it is worthwhile switching it out. Watch out for that guy. Kill him when he comes up the stairs. Easy. Well, oh, he dropped a scimitar. Of course, that was on the weapons that we started with, so we don't need to be thinking about picking that up. Kill the archer. Can't get through here yet. But that doesn't matter, because the reason we have come this way, apart from to get all the stuff that was in the building, Repair powder and a titanite shard. So all these things preparing you to level up your weapon. Increase the amount of damage you do. Where the fuck has he come from? Is he one of the archers as well? Might have been. Anyway, watch out for that guy. Anyway, we wanted to clear the path so we could do this. Come to the throwers. Keyhole, stick your stone in his mouth. And everywhere's lit up. Kind of. Everyone is marginally lit up. Right. Come grab this. Soul of a Proud Knight and a Smooth and Silky Stone, which we can trade to the Sparkly Sisters. It's, it's sparkle Sisters. The guy unfortunately caught out while going for his morning stroll. Or evening. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what time. Hey, we'll take a quick look around. Uh, nothing going on here. But, you know, we're taking all the sights. It's a beautiful place, this. Real, real attractive scenery. It's a dog. Hiding somewhere. The fuck are all these enemies doing hiding everywhere? I don't like this. It's pretty putting me on edge. Okay, so normally there would be a couple of the uh, the long arms, not of the law, just regular long arms, out here. That one's, uh, well, what would you call that? Interpretive dance? I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that is, that's weird. Uh, let's see, if you've got fire bombs, uh, it's actually quite a decent time to use them. So let's do that. Let's equip some fire bombs. I don't think we have any, so uh pretend like we had some. Uh, I've got nothing I can use. Fire bomb is super helpful here though. Never mind. Uh we'll just use a, a bow. They don't really want to stay out in the light. So you can you can do this. At some point, they they will find their courage, though, unfortunately. But not before you've peppered them full of arrows. This is the cheap and easy method. I mean, these enemies are cheap, though, so I think it's, it's fair dues. They overwhelm you with numbers and arms. Arms that you could never... I don't mean arms like weapons. That would be... 
That would be interesting, though. Look at this, it's so easy! There's like ten of them in here, though. Like, I'm actually getting really close, I don't know. I don't know how long their, uh, their fear of the light is going to last. He's hiding behind his friend. Okay. Oh, fuck this, whatever. Really do have to be careful, though. Okay, they're not going to be scared to attack when we get in here. They're going to do exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. Oh god, it's like a weird boy band. hate them. Alright, one has dropped a broadsword and one has dropped a tattered cloth hood. So nothing unusual there. Okay, let's be cautious. Alright, we're going to open up this door. And I realise there's a guy there. He can't get through... He can't get through the doorway, you think. What are we going to do? You can't get through the doorway. Oh, he smashes it. He smashes it like it, it's it's no big deal. Like he just always smashes balls, and there's his friends in there as well. But then he sees you've got the light on your side. So again, <laughs> how fuck is this sacrificial thing going on? I should have said, do try not to take too many hits on these guys, because they cause uh, bleed buildup. And while you're only fighting one, it's probably going to be okay, but more than one, uh, it can, it really can build up, and it can do you a huge amount of damage. Alright, and there's another one down. So you know the life gem, don't want to use the Estus Flask, it's going to save them for just a little later on. Okay, we can see there's one up there as well. So we're gonna say hello the best way that we know how. Get him to come. He's freaking out. Okay, attack, attack. Alright, right, that's that done. And this one, right, okay, this one's dropped uh, tattered cloth manchettes. And this one, at some point, dropped a radiant life gem. I don't remember seeing that, but I don't see everything, so. There it is. Okay, last one. He hit me. Okay, we get out of there before we start to bleed. I didn't mean to use mean to use my uh, Estus Flask. Anyway, backstab him, which seems like a weird don't. Yeah, whatever. Backstab him, uh, watch the hole, and come through here. Okay, something to be wary of in this area, because there's no bonfire from the very first one, is the state of your weapon. I think at this point we probably are going to have to use some repair powder. Use that, and the Hide Knight Sword will last us for the rest of this place, fingers crossed, hopefully, maybe. Okay, in the metal chest is the great sword. Take a quick peek. Okay, where are we? There we are. 200 damage. It does weigh a lot, it weighs 22. Sort of, what is that? Is that a rhombus? 22, <laughs> never mind. Uh, it takes a lot of strength to use. I think we can probably check that out here. Uh, it is going to require 28 strength and 10 dexterity. Well, we take a quick look at the uh, the giant's halberd, the old knight halberd, I mean. Uh, 16 strength, 20 dexterity, but, you know, not too bad. Okay, this is a trap chest. Okay. The green one is fine, the red one is fine. It's only the white one in this room that I would be really cautious about. That's when the, uh, the crossbows come out and they fire in three directions. That's killed me. Uh, okay, NPC. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> I 
what you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. 